Faith without works is dead. I'm not an electrician. Uh, on occasion, I'm called on to change a light fixture or something like that in our houses. And I personally feel that uh, before uh, an electrician is signed off uh, by the people who come to inspect, uh, there ought to be a detailed list of where all those wires go down at your, at your box. But they never do such a thing. And so we do one of these things where someone's at the top of the stairs, you know, and, and you push that one. No, that's not it, you know. And, and now all the, all the electric clocks go off and you have to reset them all. And Okay, then, then we try this one and finally I say, forget it. I'll just, I'll just be careful. And so I go up to change the light uh, fixture um, with the, the wires live, you know. And you just have to remember to keep that wire away from other things because, well, you know, if you're the part that makes contact, if you complete the circuit, well, you, you know, you light up in the dark. And so this live wire, James calls faith. And faith is what connects us to the power source. And there's another wire in there, and, and there's no life in it by itself. It's not until you bring the two of them together, until they make the connection, that things start to happen. And so faith without works is dead. Now, the other wire has to be there. But by itself, it doesn't do anything. And so, when James speaks about this whole issue of, of how the circuit works, how the life of faith actually works, he makes it quite clear that this is a dangerous proposition. And he talks about what a little spark can do. He talks about how we can misuse and abuse the life that's been given to us. There's a lot of power in our hands. Power to do good, power to do evil. And and so when we think about uh, the book of James, we're talking about something that's alive. We're talking about the, the tremendous potential in the lives of God's people to do good as long as we get the circuit right, as long as we understand the principle and we're prepared to allow the very power of God to flow through us.